Often, when I mention G Drive to people, they assume I'm talking about Google Drive. Or they ask, is G Drive the same thing as Google Drive? Although Google Drive is sometimes referred to as G Drive, Google Drive and G Drive are not the same thing. G Drive is an app, and it is not even a Google product. Rather, it's a client application for frequent users of Google Drive. If you, like many others, are now thinking, I have no idea what that means. Just tell me if I need the app or not. Well, start by asking yourself a few questions. Do you currently use Google Drive to store any of your files, pictures, and or videos? If so, and if you ever plan to access any of those files for use on your iPad, you need the G Drive for Google Drive app. You see, the new version of Google Drive does not allow direct downloads to iMovie or to your iPad's camera roll because doing so bypasses iTunes. Well, this, of course, creates a substantial problem. If you want to pull pictures or videos from your Google Drive for use in iMovie or some other iPad app. Fear not, G Drive for Google Drive is the workaround. You can use it on your iPad to access your Google Drive and save files, pictures, and videos to your iPad's camera roll or iMovie. The app is free and it's available for download at iTunes. There's no new account needed. G Drive will not have access to your Google Drive password. You simply log into your Google Drive through a browser within the G Drive app. And from there, you're able to browse and download files directly to your camera roll. If you haven't already done so, open the iTunes App Store and search for G Drive for Google Drive. Once you find the app, download it to your iPad. You'll see that I've included a screenshot here so that you know what to look for. Once you have it downloaded, we'll help you set it up. When you first open the app, you'll need to start by syncing it with any Google accounts that you might need to access from your iPad. You'll see on this example, there are three different Google Drives that have been synced with G Drive. You only need to do this once, and the information will be stored for convenient future reference. First, click the plus sign that you see in the upper right-hand corner of the app. That should generate a pop-up window. When that list of options appears, choose Google. Now you should see a new browser window. When that pops up, go ahead and log in to your Google account. After you've logged in, you'll need to click Allow in the next window to give G Drive access to your Google Drive documents. Here's a screenshot from my iPad, and on this you will see that I have one Google Drive synced up with G Drive. If you've set everything up correctly, you should see your Google Drive account listed in that same location. Go ahead and tap your account. After doing so, you should see a list of all your Google Drive folders and files populate over here on the right side browser window. From here, you can navigate within your Google Drive to find specific files and copy them to your iPad. To begin with, you'll need to locate the file that you want to copy to the iPad, and if you have files within folders like I do here, you'll want to click on the folders to locate the file that you need to copy. Once you find the specific file, picture, or movie that you want to copy to your iPad, you need to tap and hold your finger or stylus on the specific file that you want to copy until you see a little blue circle and check mark appear to the left of it. After the circle and check mark appears, then you need to tap on the Copy To button that appears at the bottom of the browser window. What you do next all depends on the type of file that you're trying to copy. If you are copying pictures or videos, then you're going to want to tap on camera roll. If, on the other hand, you want to copy documents, then click on local. Keep in mind, your iPad's camera roll doesn't accept just any file type. The following video formats are, however, supported. M4V, MP4, and MOV file formats, as well as some AVI.